The very same person who said that to me when I started out is out here licking my ass. Unkoti zinga manju ya nkota mela. Hello my sugar binga bungas, welcome back to my channel, yeah. Hey, I'm on Bayakala. Bayakala bantu bati zanenge. King Zani. Mazet. Mazeri. Hai ga peta. Ga peta mtase ni yenza kanjani imali. How do I find a job? How do I secure the bag and how do I accumulate generational wealth? I go squashy sent orgas. And I said, I bet. I'm always willing to share my knowledge because I want us all to win. So let's get right into it. Number one, secure a qualification. Jesus! Before Nijahi, to secure the bag, secure a qualification, obtain a qualification. It could be any. Some can't afford. But there are various educational institutions that exist where you can get your degree, your diploma, your certificate, yani, yani, yani. Ningenza even ama short courses, guys. Musani uksaba indo engakulum. Yes, I do know that courses do chow. Trust me, I know. But it's so worth it. And that is why it will never, ever makes sense to me when people say education isn't important. Zhuang. People say education isn't important. They say school isn't important. They say knowledge isn't power. I'm patting a metric. Ah! I'm a celebration of sapa sap. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What are you celebrating? Education isn't important, Mus. Why is it that when a child gets to grade 10, grade 11, matric, you're just like, my goodness. Many people are like, oh my goodness, I can't wait for you to go to varsity. Because deep down, deep down, we know how important education is. We know how crucial it is for us to better and advance ourselves. We know that it is vital to enrich our minds and that that is directly proportional to enriching our lives and the lives of those around us and the lives of those coming after us. We know. In most cases, people don't want to admit it because they struggled to attain that education because they failed when they attempted to attain that education or because they simply can't afford to attain that education from that particular educational institution that they wanted so badly to attain it from. You see, most people tend to look down on other educational institutions that aren't universities, forgetting that they're also important. Otherwise, they wouldn't exist. They play a major role in advancing people. They play a crucial role in providing skills and knowledge to people. And therefore, we need to get rid of this mentality, my people. You know who you are. I've spoken about this many a times. Education opens doors that most people don't even know exist. You may not find a job immediately after attaining your qualification, but the epistemological knowledge and skills that you acquire through education will last you a lifetime and you will carry them beyond your grave. 
nobody can take them away from you. Beauty may fade, your talents may expire if you don't nurture them, but e education, my dear, education, my love, never ever leaves you. Thus, it is important to retain a mentality that will always build you, no matter how difficult and challenging life is, no matter how decadecaring the circumstances are. As long as you have a strong and positive mentality, as long as you are knowledgeable about what's important and what's going to help you get ahead, trust and believe you will get ahead. Block all the noise. Ignore the miserable failures who try to project their struggles, their misery unto you and do what's right for you. Do what you know will work for you. You will never ever go wrong with the qualification. And I know oftentimes people say, don't just study anything. Study the market. Study what's in demand. Valid. Valid. There are jobs you are guaranteed to get provided you have certain qualifications. For example, teaching. Another example, nursing. You will never go wrong. And the list goes on and on and on and on. But because people are lazy, they do not want to do their research. But they're like, I, what's the point? What's the point of studying? What's the point of learning? My goodness. Learning nourishes you as umuntu. as umuntu. It sets you apart from everybody else who's never learned or who hasn't reached your level. There are levels to this. So besafana. Ay, asfananangan. Asfanan. And there are qualifications that you pursue because you are passionate about them. And that's beautiful because your passion drives you. That's the fire that keeps you going. You might opt to study what's in the market, but then the course will chow you. Because the akshai cause. Whereas, had you followed your heart and did something you're passionate about, you'd be sailing smoothly. You'd acquire your qualification in record time. Another thing we need to realize and come to terms with is the fact that as piwanga ngukfan la kuna machini kuna bashlagan pile kuna ma hard worker kuna ba patanisa beso kuba kona ay gabi ay gabi so know your strengths as a mundu. Know your strengths, know your weaknesses. That'll guide you. Also bear in mind that pursuing a qualification related to something you're passionate about doesn't mean you'll definitely find something. There is a demand for that, otherwise it wouldn't exist. You also have the option of initially focusing on what you're passionate about. And then at a later stage, you may focus on what's in demand or vice versa. Start with what's in demand and then at a later stage, focus on what you're passionate about. So long as you're learning, so long as you're absorbing information and transforming it into meaningful knowledge and skills that will last you a lifetime you will forever be set and yes the unemployment rate may be sky high in your country but that doesn't mean Uguti, there's nothing awaiting you within that country and even outside of that country with a qualification you will always be in demand you will always be an asset opportunities will always knock at your door you just need to be aware of the opportunities that exist. You need to do your research. You need to rub shoulders with people who are in the know. You must ask. Stop limiting yourself. Stop boxing yourself. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Your qualification makes you the cream of the crop and that's on period. Number two, 
Some people may say, mm, school isn't for me. I just want to start working as soon as I leave high school. I don't want to advance myself. I don't want to go to university, college, or any other educational institution for that matter. I just want to make that guap. Okay, noted. There are various jobs that exist and they accommodate and accept people who don't have advanced qualifications. But the problem is you guys want jobs that want people with advanced qualifications. And then you forget to see you're not on the same level. And I'm not bashing anyone. This isn't shade. I just need to keep it 1,000 with y'all. Not even 100, 1,000. If you're not keen to gain epistemological knowledge and skills, then honey child, be keen to start from the bottom. We all have to start somewhere. The same applies when it comes to jobs, especially when you don't have a qualification. Be willing to do any job that presents itself. What's crazy is that when I was still job hunting, after having attained my very first qualification, I was keen to do anything. I was applying at McDonald's, KFC, doing promotion work, willing to be a receptionist, an assistant, and, and, and. Because at the time. So I couldn't pick and choose when I haven't gotten to a level. I had to be willing to take what's available and to build myself up until I reach the point where I sing was with Ibo. Because I had paid my dues. I had attained skills and knowledge that people who decided not to do what I decided to do didn't have. And that set me apart from them. But in Sebenzi, ikona, guys. You could be a cashier, you could be a cleaner. Ungabopo plastic bomb komo. Ungatutum komo. And do your research. Various jobs do exist. And then we have people who say, uh, school isn't for me. I don't want any kind of qualification. I can't afford to get one or I'm just not gifted enough to be able to obtain one. Furthermore, I don't want a 95. I don't want to work for anybody. I don't want a job of any kind. I want to be my own boss. I want to do my own thing just the way I like it. Okay, start a business then. And I know in most cases when people think business, they think, oh my gosh, Oh my gosh, I have to open a company. I need to find employees. I need to register this and that. I need to do one, two, three. There's so much paperwork to consider. Oh my goodness. Oh, was it one Zima? Was it one Yugela? Was it one Sinda? But wait, I did say you have to start somewhere. And if you feel like this is too much for you and you feel overwhelmed and you don't know where to start, Start small. The street vendors that you look down on, they're business people. They're selling sweets, cakes, amakwinya, chips, umbila, ukwayu, minchisi, a time. Ingani funu sweet nama chips. Kuna bandaba pema in mikla nama langa. But alegila band, left, right, and center. People constantly have to stay in touch. A time. We live in such a busy world. People are constantly in a rush. Do you know how much money? Oh, mama was a rank. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Do you know how much money they make? And 
And as time goes by, you build yourself up, you advance. People trust you. People trust your goods and your services. Now you have clientele. Eti wena. And through word of mouth, that clientele is ohambi chalabanyi. They'll bring their chanas there. And their chanas will bring their chanas there. Ganjalo, 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 ganjalo. Next thing we pause, we inkalagat. Soma business of avile. Ekbalo anga ema pepe no puma nga pa nga pa wama social media platforms. Usu inja enja. Pause ema pause. E ghost yama ghost. Kotu kalepi, kotu tae su sweet. You understand? Always do your research. Nginga kuluma ngizen kishize ama kwebu. I could advise you until I'm blue in the face. But always do your research. Be observant if you want to succeed in this life. Consider what people like. What people enjoy. What people need. What people desire. What people want. People want to look good all the time. Sell wigs. Sell lipstick. Sell shoes. Daisi prenut. To certain groups. Target those groups. I'm trying to jump for no by being on side of my Maya when I'm petty Omega and Clopper walk up near my ghost from G. Omega and Clopper near Bonnell and Janan. I'm shining skipper some separate and would send Bala Bala and can decondil your one assassin along shining as I call his own pie. Send a car man out taking as I may print duty. Little skipper some separate duty. Keep a lama specs in cabby to give us a lunch. Little spots in cabby. Little as a link cabby. Tatty spam some. Find out who can supply you with hair, makeup, accessories, clothes, shoes, bags, the works, in bulk. When the show would see the quality of the take your time. Take your time. Besu yenza ibe wena leon dole. Besu iti fushu ebandwin. If the quality is on point, bazo temba. And they'll keep coming back to you. And they'll keep recommending you to other people. And then we have other people who say, Nope, I want nothing to do with education. I do not want a job. And I'm certainly not business minded. How can I still secure the bag? Okay. Social media. The new currency. You could never ever go wrong. So long as you have a phone, you can take pictures and zhuzh them up. We fagi twayi, we fagi spice, uzinige, that thing. And you can make yourself appealing to a wide audience. The more followers you get, the more money you get. Brands start looking for you. Opportunities come knocking at your door simply because utati tombezinkle. You take beautiful pictures. You bring pictures to life. Unaleo va va vum, and thus people want to know what is it about her? What is it about him that makes him so appealing, so exciting, so enticing, so intriguing, so fascinating? I want to be just like them in a world where so many people don't know who they are. So many people are so insecure and unsure of themselves. The minute they see someone who is sure of themselves, secure in their own skin, confident, ha, sold. They want to know who you are, how you do it, and how they can become just like you. Hence, your following grows exponentially. And confidence is a stain they can't wipe off. That confidence of yours will take you places. You can sing. Take a video of yourself singing. Besides the fact that a powerhouse in the music business might spot you and want to sign you or want to mentor you, you could be your own boss. Get talent de la by gaining views on that singing video of yours. 
your following grows, the views increase, and so do the figures in your bank account. You can dance, take a video of yourself dancing. Madina, not on that last after break shop. The same applies. A top notch big dog could spot you and be like, yo, I want us to work together. Let's operate. Next thing, you're the next big thing. Post your videos on different social platforms. If you've got it, you've got it, and you will attract an audience. Trust and believe that. And the more you do it, the more consistent you are the more you cement your name until you gain superstar status. You're brilliant at giving advice? Take a video of yourself giving advice. Post it on social media platforms. People will learn from you. Not only that, they'll fall in love with you. Your following grows. Your views increase. And so do the figures in your bank balance. Ganjalo, 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 ganjalo. And I know a lot of people are just like, oh, everybody's now an Instagram model. Everybody's now a TikToker. Everybody's now a superstar on Facebook. Everybody's now a YouTuber. Block the noise. I can't state and emphasize this enough. They're miserable. They don't know who they are. They probably don't even know what their talents are. So you're stressing them out. Because you're brave enough to explore avenues that they could never, ever be brave enough to explore. My name King Azab is deep. And it's not your job to get them on your side. It's not your job to make them try and understand. Everybody can get a piece of the pie. Oh, no, no, no. It's such a saturated industry. Now we're full to so for no ones I learned. That's what I was told when I started out with my YouTube channel. They were like, oh, not you too. I've seen so many people trying to do that. Yeah, but that's all Zabana they started. But they faded into the background. And they fell flat on their faces. Gunjan magunje. Sigu pimasila. We're out here approaching 20k subscribers because by a bon wutangzi looks so la la la. I'm gifted. I'm talented. I am the chosen one. And for me, it's not just about securing the bag. It's deeper than that. It's about educating. It's about enriching minds, enriching lives, touching hearts, changing the world one view at a time. The very same person who said that to me when I started out is out here licking my ass. Busy asking me how I did it. Busy asking to be my assistant so they can get a share of my moolah. They happen to be one of the people who asked me to film this video. They have no source of income. The very same person who saw an idiot when I got off my bum and I used my talent, my gift, my skill to better myself. To touch others and to secure the bag. Do you see how life works? Do you understand why I keep telling you to silence the noise? To ignore the naysayers? Because no happy person belittles the next person. No content person diminishes the achievements and accomplishments of the next person. No successful person talks down on the ambitions and goals and dreams of the next person. It's always os koten. It's always ama feranja. It's always ama para. It's always iza thulek. It's always ok agegile. And when you start making it, either they're going to lick your ass or they're going to hate on you. But always remember, uguti agunanja. 
Dogs always bark at a moving car. When it's stationary, the dog doesn't care. The minute it moves, the dog knows. Hopefully, izoma. That's the goal, to bring you down to their level and even below that. Do not give in. Do not succumb. There's room for you everywhere. You can make money in so many ways. And that brings me to my final way of securing the bag. And that is all the above. Get a qualification, get a job, start a business and make a name for yourself on social media. Multiple streams of income. You will make money in your sleep. You're in demand in Sebenzine. You're in demand because people want your goods, your services, and wena. You're in demand because people want to see you. How you live your life. How you came to be the person that you are today. You're in demand matala onke. Petalezi uyinjaenja. And number five is what I'm currently doing. It is not easy. Nothing worth having comes easy. You sacrifice a lot, a lot of time with your loved ones, your social life at times, certain things that you thoroughly enjoy. But I do believe that it is worth it. Matter of fact, I know that it is worth it. I know for a fact that it will reach a point where I no longer have to lift a finger because I will be making money in my sleep. Guimanji, via this video, you watching this video on Jenga Manj, ching, 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 increase. Yama figures, a bank. Bank account, yam, ya tritrim. Gila legend. But because, gifuna ugbamba, nga panangapa, because I believe that every human being is multifaceted, and therefore they ought to use their talents, their skills, their gifts, while they still can to better themselves and to better others. And that's why Ngbambanga Panangapa, because one day, one slimana day, was ngan zami, gwaba zugulu ne zuguluana zami, won't need to lift a finger. Whether ngzobing sa pila no mangzobe sengi dozi, because nga sebenzisa imondo, nga sebenzisa ipiwo zam, to ensure that they're set for life. And I'm a thousand percent certain that you can do it too. With that said, I wish you all the best. In the meantime, binge watch my previous videos and I'll be back with another banger.